Hello, welcome to the final of the Notchback Club. So we saw this human team and uh, this Skaven team with their respective semi-finals earlier on. Uh, and now they go head to head to decide this is to decide fifth and sixth place overall for this season, which is season five, if you're still keeping count. <coughs> so it's given a defending, which was uh, human's choice. So human's choice to attack first. Uh, I think with these we could go, yeah, go just the advances. So no bench for the Skaven, they do have one journeyman lineman. Um, he's maybe going to switch in here? Yeah, goes in there. So one of those, we got a niggling injury, two niggling injuries as well, so it's a very vulnerable front line. A couple more unleveled ones. This is the Strength Force Storm Vermin, who's picked up Mighty Blow, I think after the last game, which first time with Mighty Blow. Uh, this Storm Vermin is unleveled, so this one's hooked all the points. Got a block sidestep, got a runner, and a sprint, got a runner. Throwback here is a brand new one. I think the other one got um, injured. Rattoga has guard and block. So these are the two teams in the league who both have um, block big guys. A uh, very shallow kick. Um, and yeah, Skeven, Skeven are set up here, so quite deep. Um, but but yeah, so Reds concede this space basically, and then uh, and then. Yeah, see, see where they can defend from, uh, or to defend from deeper. Uh, humans have uh, so they've got four blitzers, so this one here with tackle. Uh, this one is unleveled, then there's two with mighty blow. This one also has tackle, but also has agility two. Excuse me, got some hiccups or something. Block guard ogre, so both the big guys have the same skills. Uh, and then we've got a tackle lineman here, who looks like he's taking the first action. Uh, this is an unleveled lineman. Uh, block catcher. Catcher is unleveled. Let's uh, throw. I'll throw us back here. There we go. That's that's all of them, isn't it? And one unleveled lineman on the bench. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, um, how many block? How many blitz blitzers have they got here? So one, two, three blitzers not on the line of scrimmage. These are all the block players, and there's no good reason to not just deploy them here to just hit these rats straight away because it's like so like seventy percent to knock them down if you've got a block and they haven't they haven't got dodge either. Um, so yeah, just just stick the line the the blitzers in here, and then finish with the ogre on three dice, and you've got three very safe moves to hit these people, and then you're not having to stay, to roll dice with these linemen who don't have block. Um, so straight away, that's a reroll. Um, with this tackle guy, he should probably just not be here. Just get one of these blitzers in. Only only um, one of these three blitzers is going to be able to hit anyone this turn. And they, they're the big hitters. Like, get them doing the work. Um, and it's a reroll straight away. So he gets a knockdown. Uh, for a stun. But the human still does two rerolls for the rest of the turn and don't have one. Um, so three rolls, two rerolls for the rest of the half, and don't have one for the rest of the turn. There we go. Foul bonehead. Oh yeah, this is possibly one of the worst turns ever. <laughs> Not in terms of the decisions that the coach made. I mean, the deployment of the line of scrimmage wasn't wasn't a great decision. Um, but that's a throw. Finally, go for it and dying. So that's a pretty bad way to end it. Go so apothecary back onto the bench, um, but that's how we end the turn. <coughs> um, yeah, so they had hit a, hit a one in nine on the block there, but shouldn't have been using that player to do it. One of these blitzes should have been there. Got a couple of stuns, ogre bone heads, throw a fails to go for it and dies. Um, bad turn. That's that's not a good turn to start with, uh, and they're they're down uh, down players now. Apothecary's gone as well, so. Any more casualties are going to stick, and anything permanent is now permanent. Like that one, so that, that is another casualty down. That is that tackle lineman. He'll be back fine next game. Got a coming around here to just be annoying and stand on the ball. 
I think we might see guy runners push forwards to throw in the ball. Uh, one of them could probably get it at this turn if they wanted to. Uh, there's a foul play for it. Someone else looking to stand on the ball. <coughs> yeah, so you gotta run around here. And this one's going that way, so they're they're looking to just be a threat next turn. I think one of them could have nicked in there and tried to force us pick up. But maybe after failing that go for it, I didn't want to try that. Players vulnerable to the tackle mighty blow, but just to push back. And there's an injury back, so it's now ten plays nine in the game's favour. That was um that was a broken guy. So minus one strength on that one who already had a niggling injury. It was yeah either the uh, niggly injury or mighty blow would have would have got that so the niggly injury didn't make any difference really. One dice of that uh, and that is then down to one reroll now. They've got another tackle turn off the ball. So this is almost certainly going to be the um, Skaven Splits target because it will clear off the ball. Uh, the Blitz and Yoga. It's just it's two dice into one, we've got to get the knockdown with the first hit. <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah, sorry, that uh, that storm went in there, just had, had two dice on that catcher, so I didn't need to blitz there at all. Go, hands the ball. Yeah, and that's good marking up at the end because that's the player who's a danger uh, from the human's point of view. They do have two dice on the ball with a couple of dodges with dodge players, so because they've got to run a strength too, so the human catches, they do need an assist. Um, but if this one comes in here, then this one blitzes. You're, you're hunting, you're looking for a pal though, so it's, um, it's like 30% um, to get the knockdown after making two dodges with dodge, but they're both 89s. Um, I think that's probably the best play they've got because this is agility too. <clears throat> I don't think you want to be throwing a four plus dodge there to try and get on the ball. Um, although if he could, I mean it's a coin flip to, and then but then you might as well you know, have both of these moving get three dice on the ball. Uh, this blitzer hitting this one is also better there. Um, actually, yeah, you could save the dodges by taking taking blocks on these two marking players as well to get these three. But this is the one who's a problem. Uh, that's that's the guy who you want blitzing because he's got tackle. Uh, and with two assists, it'll be three dice. Okay, so that is one more down. So nine plays nine, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what we're up to. Okay, so he gets a push there, push away from the catcher. So both those catchers are free now. Assist in there, and then that should be the blitz. Um, but with block dodge and sidestep, this would not be an easy takedown. To use a reroll there it means it's not going to be available for the important move. Yeah, this one should have come first. It is just both downs. And there's another casualty as well, so it's, it's fairly even players wise. Uh, it's going down to eight now. Um, humans on nine. This is all very risky when the ball's not safe. And there's these two tackle blitz in space available as well now. It's just three dice on the ball if something goes wrong. Go for a foul as well before that. <coughs> so one in six for a send off. Uh, they don't have any bribes or anything, do they? No, no bribes. 
Yeah, two plus dodge away to score. Yeah, some quite greedy play that turn, trying to get all the hits and the fouling especially. Um, where they're just giving up three dice of the ball if anything goes wrong. She <clears throat> fouls more than one in six to get sent off, isn't it? It's one in six for the, the armor roll, but then you've got the injury roll as well. Two in nine or something. Right, so early defensive touchdown. Um, humans have got four turns to try and um, get back level before half time. Uh, but then they will kind of be behind. They want this lineman off the line. Lineman guard the line when you're defending, not when you're attacking. Um, this should be Blitzer. It, yeah, Blitzer's in there. Even that catcher with block is better to put on the line when you're attacking than the lineman is without block. Yeah, we go. Open it up the block players. The way God intended. Uh, another foul bonehead though. So Ogre's missed both the line of scrimmage hits now because of bonehead. Still got two dice here. Uh, using Mike Blow guy to hit over there. block and then pushing down this wing bit of a gap here that a guy runner might like to look off but I think they're more like to maybe come around this way with the two quick players so thrower who's back from the dead chucking the ball and uh, leveling up I think yeah that was uh, that was all he needed to level up. So that cap's been pretty closed off. Um, the Ogre's Bonehead's not really a factor this turn. Yeah, just gonna blitz through with the Rat Ogre. Two guys into three, gets a knockdown. That is an injured catcher. Yeah, actually, that is a bad one for a catcher. I think that's a. That's a retiring catcher. And that's prehensile our tower on the ball carrier as well. <coughs> Same with dodge. It takes the um takes the charges down from 89 to 75% to just dodge away. And it's a strength five player who's not really gonna be that hitable. Go back in action, uh, which again risky when the ball's not safe. Uh, don't think they have. Okay, that's pushed up the marker away right from this guy. Could you actually blitz the? Uh, I'll go for the handoff here. I was wondering if you could actually just blitz the rat ogre then to try and free this guy up. So we've got three, four, five. So if he stepped in there, this lineman goes there. This blitz could come in one, two, three, four, five, six, and hit with two dice. Move over there. Then you've got, yeah, you've only really got this player to screen. But he could maybe come, come in there, ball over here, uh, on that catcher still. Maybe been a safer play. And you've got thrower. The thrower can get up here to help screen two. Yeah, maybe they got the they got the uh, the handoff though. If the dodge away is dangerous, the handoff is always on. They've not got uh, many players who can screen here. They maybe use the blitz with this guy, so he can move over here and help out. Okay, pretty decent screen. With, uh, a few players. Throw can come over this way as well, so that's going to shut off this back corner. Yeah, I think that could maybe have been the, the blitz, and then you can get this blitzer back, and he's not stuck over here. 
can be over here where the where the game's happening. So no blitz that turn. <clears throat> Storm Vermin goes straight in. They'll just they'll just try and knock away the screen and mark the ball again. And he'll have to step in there if he wants to. He does. Try and get another marker in. They're just marking there. Got one right across. Give some two dots there with that dodge. Just to push. But yeah, this, this blitz is just stuck over here. It's not really a good trade off for the humans that. Just another assist, we've got this blitz I can hit there. I don't think you really want this lineman scoring. So are they blitzing this guy? Yeah, so get a push away with the thrower. They could go hand off to blitzer and score if they want to do that. Looks like that's the plan. There we go, one one. It gives the escape in two turns, taking quite capable of scoring in two turns with their speed. Both teams have been losing some players though. So I can't if there's any knockouts on there. So that's two downs, that's the humans on ten. And that's escaping on nine. It's escaping on eight because that one stays knocked out. <clears throat> Skaven probably more used to um, playing outnumbered than humans are, and I think they maybe work a bit better. But humans are low on players, if, but not, but not. They haven't got less than the, the opponents. Let's set it up deep here. Yeah, I think this lineman should maybe be over instead of this blitzer here. This blitzer is quite valuable. So if that's an error. Don't know if maybe they thought that was the tackle lineman that they normally have uh, have around, but he's over here. So it's really well for the humans who were down to no uh, oh no, they were on one. They've been on one for a while. Okay, that's another one down. That's uh, nine plays nine now, isn't it? Like the deep defence for the humans, like they, they can try and shut down scoring threats. Uh, go for a throw there. Blitzing that way. I need this guy forward, so. So that's one taken care of for next turn. This one's pinned. Well, against Prehensile Tail. They've got to get the ball forwards. They can't score if they don't. Or need a player forwards at least. This is a bit a bit vulnerable. I don't think there's a lot they can do with screening here. This one's trapped in. There's still players you can come get two dice here though. And the tackle blitzer. This is the one who's definitely have been back here. Because he's so dangerous to uh, to gutter runners who are on their own. This one's marked in, so it's the tackle players. And it's going to have to be a thrower, probably. Hunting for a pal. Going for a dodge with the Agility 2 Blitzer. Is he going for the Blitz? Okay, got it with a reroll just to push back though. So back in there, that's four plus, three plus, both without the dodge skill, and then two plus with the dodge skill as it stands. They need to protect around here because this is where the blitz should be. Probably this, this storm vermi can reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's a go for it. Yeah, get tackle off, and then it's just uh, three plus, three plus, two plus still. I didn't have the option of trying to get a push play on because they can fill this square. That's another dead player. Oh, that's a blitzer isn't it? That's a mighty blow blitzer. Who I think he just scored as well. It's a shame. Oh yeah just dodges through. 
have some freezing teas. That's two one. <clears throat> And half time. Four in the casualty box now. Let's go then. This, I think that's a storm going, isn't it? Still, still knocked out. Been a bit of a feature of the Skaven season that players, when they get knocked out, they just stay there. Uh, yeah, it is that unleveled storm going in. So they're on eight players. Humans are now on eight as well. <coughs> so it's even for numbers. Now having to put blitzers on the line. And this unleveled one. They're down to three blitzers as well. These two linemen, that blitzer. Neutral kick off event and then Mighty Blow guys hitting that blitzer straight away for another injury. So down to two blitzers. Badly hurt that one. But that puts the uh, Skaven back ahead on numbers. Ahead maybe for the well, first time since very early on, I think. So I deployed deep enough to force go for it from the Ratoga, but they went for it, went for that blitz anyway. Was two touchdowns short of a level now. And yeah, they're just going straight down there for it. So we've got prehensile tail on this one. Well, these are four plus dodges because of prehensile tail. These ones, they need go for it to, to reach. So go for a quick third. Give the ball back to the humans to see what they can do. So just go straight for. Yeah, two go for it and finds a pal. And a knockout. <clears throat> so ball off and pretty good throw in for the Skaven there, right next to the Rat Ogre. Ogre's gonna get on the ball as well though, so it looked like it was gonna be a quick touchdown. It's now gonna turn into a bit of a bit of a scrum. I think this guy should be up by now. But for the dodge uh, with team reroll, so I did have because I had some inbuilt rerolls available. I think there's maybe a better play there. I liked I like the uh, diving into a tackle zone with sure hands player. I think that's nice and brave, and uh, I think it's well worth looking at sometimes. But uh, there is a catcher standing here, so once you've got that four plus of the reroll to do that, instead of better a team reroll, you can go hand off to the catcher. Uh, he's got an inbuilt reroll with four plus. I thought no, actually he's on two. In two tackle zones, so that would have been a five. Uh, yes, actually, that's good. I sort of not factored in there were two players marking him. So I was thinking uh, with one, you've got a reroll for catch, and you've got a reroll for dodge as well to try and get that. So two seventy-five percent, but that's a fifty-five percent if he's uh, catching on a five. So yeah, maybe just dodge it away. Best best option. But where do you go with it then? Because you've got catches on fours over here. I think that is that catcher. Yeah, that catcher is now out of the game, badly hurt. Um, yeah, they're just racking up now. Is this the other catcher here? Yeah, that's the agility one. Agility broken one. Uh, let's hit on the O guard to try and clear the ball. That's down, and then we've got. Go straight for the pickup. Same player. Stand in here. Yeah, so I'm going to find it tough to. Yeah, it was a foul bonehead as well. He could have gone Ogre in there for the assist with guard, and then you've got one dice with this player. As it is, it's two dice uphill. It's just a push. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> oh dear. one off that's gone so this this guy can go score in that straight for storm bearing if they do want the quick touchdown it's now on with no dice rolls yeah stack it in but it's given a down on players we've knocked out players so it's a good chance to try and get them back um five categories for the humans six six categories for the humans only two for the scaling yeah, both knockouts back, there we go. So, Skaven back up to nine players, humans down to six now. So, it looks like it's definitely only going one way at this point. <clears throat> yeah, ogre in the middle means everyone's got two dice. If you stick him in there as well, you've got. Two dice on the ends with the blitzers and then three dice for the ogre. Uh, deep kick, that's gone out, hasn't it? <coughs> Give that to throw no catches left, only two blitzers. Uh, so humans kind of just have consolation blocks, really. Ogre does get three dice. Needed them as well to get that knocked down. There's just one stun for those three knockdowns. And I'm sure we'll see no blitz this turn. Just don't have the numbers to go committing plays forward at this point, so it's backing off a bit. Not left the scaven any blocks on. Strength four, Storm Vermin is the go to blitz many turns in this team. Push forward to Nelzar, so that's pressure on the ball straight away. <coughs> yeah, I'm just pushing forwards now. <clears throat> I'm not sure we'll see the Rattiga move, can maybe try and get around here. Does move. It comes in that way to just mark that blitz. So humans just have nowhere to go at this point. and going for it in. Probably about the best I could hope for. Needs to go for this ogre doing. Just to push back. Uh, got a surf on the ball here. Um, I've just come over a bit too much. I would need to do need to take one of these tackle zones out. Probably this one's easiest if we can get Oh no, that's gonna you have to push I think there. This one comes one, two, three, four, five. Marks there, Ratoga one, two, three, four, and then blitz there and there. Um but you can't yeah, you'd you'd be going two dice into one without taking one of those tackle zones out. Unfortunately to get the knock down there, because that would have trapped the uh, Ratoga. If that if that was a push, it would have been um, yeah, it would have meant the Ragan needed to dodge. This will be a surf ball. No, it's not. Just to knock out instead. <coughs> Ragan having block uh, came off there, and this line rat catches the ball. So now they'll just look at try and do something about that. They can have a go at the ogre as well. Oh, there's like all the humans have got left, really. <laughs> this blitzer as well, I guess. The other one was just knocked out there. Let's just 
push. Oh, so that was an accident. They uh, yeah, could have could have pushed the yoga in. One of these spaces. Yeah, so the gut rider fires a power. He gets free as well, so can I move? Right. Well, maybe you pushed there and tried the same again. Pretty decent chance of going for getting a uh, pushback on the on two dice uphill. Just gonna free this player up. We've got this guy run over here. He can just score this turn. I want to get it to them. Another removal for the, uh, full Skaven uh, against humans. One, two, three players left. Uh, trying to get points on this, uh, this Dawn Vermin who just can't get star player points. One casualty all season, sad. This is the ninth game that he's played. Going straight for the pickup, uh, which succeeds. But it's sort of, now what? Good throw to him. This is a four plus catch though. Cool it. And off he goes. He's that agility two blitz has needed to use agility a couple of times in this game and he's been okay. Um, this one can still reach. This could be an assist, so it's two dice on the ball fairly easily. Tenacious play from the humans with their three players left to get the ball up here, um, but it has not lasted. Uh, ball's there, okay. So it means the can't move the ball anywhere else. Um, and it's going to be one dice on the ball. There's no, yeah, there's no way of taking out this assist. Yeah, just watch the ogre. Work out who they want to score. If they still want this storm vermin to score, they'll need to free him up next turn now. This guy runners always there, they. And they're just yeah, keeping the ogre pinned down. So I've got to take that one dice, uh, but it's a skull. And it's another skull, okay. <laughs> Maybe typifies the game, uh, just uh, in that, that one action. Um, yeah, we've got. Got to run a, it's a pass or a handoff, I didn't count the squares. Go for the pass anyway. But if it's a choice between a go for it or a pass, and they're both two plus, take the pass. Uh, and that's going to make it 4-1. I oh, like getting another block in there, because I needed, needed another one. And there as well. And there, that can roll in. No one left to blitz. For one. <coughs> Do you think it's among the biggest margins of victory we've had this year? I don't think there were. Uh, might have had a three. Might have had a three nil early on. But yeah, this this is a major reason why. Um, humans back up to five players now, though. Skaven were low on players for a lot of the game. But just when it really started to count in that second half, it tipped over, and the yeah, the uh, the human casualties just kept uh, just kept on coming. Uh, no one was available to stand under the high kicks. Everyone was marked. There's an injury. So that's that niggling injury, Lyman. Uh, niggling injury, not a factor. Down, over has three dice and boneheads. Okay, a few of those that's been quite typical. Push there, could, push, could have pushed there and had another block. Then he's blitzing on one dice, could have even followed up to blitz there, but gets it with one dice. There we are. So, well done to it's a jackal for coming in fifth this season with the Skaven, who I know. They've not enjoyed uh, this season. 
uh, which has been a shame. Actually, both of these coaches uh, are, are going to be giving Blood Bowl a rest after this. Uh, yeah, hey, lots of uh, a bit bit more blocks for the humans, but lots more removals for this game. And I think they were making them count. I think a lot of them were coming for their two mighty blow players um, as well. Those injuries. Um, I had to throw a die from a failed go for it in the first turn as well. Um, yeah, still a good smattering of points for both teams. Uh, and there we have it. That is 4-1. Um, so we've still got the um, Dented Shield playoffs to come. Uh, and I think it's the it should be the third place game uh, for that coming up next. 